Jungle motherfucking beats. Yeah, it's on Facebook, Twitter, Yo. and Instagram, baby. Alexander fucking man right here. You know who it is. It's Alexander Dallas. Yeah. You know. So we did a we're doing unknown artist reactions now. Mm -hmm. It's probably. And we did one for Jordy Dings uh, recently, and his producer was named You Up, I believed, and he had us up, and he asked us if we could review his productions, and then he also asked if we could do something from his uh, his group, the Viders. So we're gonna do one of each. Hell yeah. I like his production. His, the, yeah, the production was great. On if you're not familiar, I'll, it'll be linked up. Okay. You up? Contra. All right, we're gonna check it out and see how we do. I tell you, I don't know next to anything about producing music, but I know that shit would be hard I know, and take a lot of time. Because every single, like, sort of few, like, every second or every two, three seconds, he's adding something and taking something away. He's constantly changing it up. There's never a stage where that beat is stagnant. Mm -hmm. Not one stage. He's, and even when he brings it back to sort of the original beat, there's still difference in there. Like, that's, that, that shows a massive talent as producer. Huge I'd, uh, please respond. I'm oh, sorry if I'm not saying your name right, you up. But please respond. Let, let us know like how long that took you to te to create, and what is the average beat, four or five minute beat. How long does that take you compared to what you did on Contra? I mean, what a, I would like to see what a rapper could do with that, or an artist could do with that. This is it's not, like a, not many rappers could do shit with this. Mm. But there are ones that can. It's because it's constantly changing, so rap would have to keep adapting, but you mm. got to adapt every few seconds. Mm. Like, I know Danny Brown could, because that's Danny Brown. Right. Or Eminem could, because that's Eminem. But, like, would they want to? I don't know. But then you get to rappers like Migos, they couldn't do shit over there. Hell no. I mean, I don't think so. But the experimental nature of it, like, the constant... Yeah, just chaotic, rapidly changing the drips, the just the sounds. Sonically, it's exciting. Yeah. I mean, this ain't really like my type of music, but there's a huge amount of respect, and also I can just, I can I can see real good talent when I hear it. Mm -hmm. Now, he had a group. Uh, he asked us if you could re uh, give us a list to. They're called the Viders. They have an unreleased uh, video that he said might be particularly interesting for us. Alright. Um, now it is unreleased because he sent a link to an unlisted video. I don't know if he wants us to share it, but um. I'll ask him, but we're gonna take a look. You wanna come over? It's called Never Be Sober. Let me come over to your side. The Viders.
That's cool. Yo, that's a cool video. That's a cool song. That's a good song. I, 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 that's <laughs> fucking good. Yo, those vocals. But of both of them were really well, no, impressive. I want to hear more of what the guy had to sing. Yeah. I like this low, sort of men melancholy voice. I wonder how much of that is manipulated by... I don't, it didn't sound manipulated to me. I think he just generally had that low voice, but I could be wrong. I, I wonder. I wonder how much is manipulated by audio effects or how much of it is natural. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's all natural. I don't know. But I've never really heard... But that deepness with her highness... It really works. Just fucking yin and yang. Beautiful. And I feel like that... The, the woman as well, I feel like that her vocal range wasn't, like, huge, but what she did with her vocals was really well done. Like, I that was a really cool track. Agreed. Yeah. And the music video behind it, you know, it kind of pictured them mm, as got, being divided. Yep, but at the end, they were always together. Right, and it was, it was really cool how they kind of, they just, <laughs> she just stepped into the frame. And at the end, he's like, that's a keeper, is it like the song they did, like, oh, yeah, it's a good song, it's a keeper. Oh, I thought he was talking about her. Well, was he? It could be maybe, maybe. Both. Guys, pub, why, why is you, publish the video? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with you, man? That's what's, a good video. That's what's a wrong with song. it? Never be so. Oh, no. you're right. It was never be sober. Yeah, I thought yeah, it says never yeah, be never closer. Be yeah. Um. Yeah. Publish this. Publish the goddamn music video, man. Yeah, there must be way of something, man. But yo, seriously. Fuck, uh, man, you gonna you gonna die? What you waiting for? You gonna die? Your production. You've got like Sorry, the sort chill. of. You got like chill. the weekend. You got the weekend sounding shit. You got like the, the sort of up. upbeat all over, like the crazy shit, and you got this shit. Like, dude, you are a one motherfucking talented producer. And you got big things coming your way. Oh yeah, he's the same dude. Dude, he's, not <laughs> he's the motherfucking same, same guy. Dude, man. I felt like I was listening to someone different. Exactly, man. <laughs> oh shit. That's talent, man. Bro, it's crazy because you know if we never start this, I would never found these people if we didn't start this shit. Jungle Beats Radio, I'm Look, talking about. The internet, man. Man, this is great. Jungle Beats is here to, sh to share your shit. Let's man. put yeah yeah we're gonna share you on YouTube and Facebook, so um that's where it's gonna live. The Viders, check them out on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Links in the description. Great job, guys. Really good job. Um, really, really dig it. All right, now we done. Now we done. Okay. Ah, now we, we done. done.